you are Mr. or Ms. Fixit and you want to find and renovate a falling apart house on a dilapidated lot, there is a one hour real estate TV home renovation series that may help you make the first move, the radical move. The show is called The Property Brothers. It is hosted by talented twins, Drew and Jonathan Scott. Drew is a real estate agent, Jonathan a contractor, and it is my pleasure to welcome the Property Brothers to Studio 4 to tell us more. Thank you for having us. And happy Valentine's Day. Hey. You. There you are. A little and you're twins, special. so you each had to bring something, <laughs> well, right? We, we didn't know if you'd want chocolate and flowers or a foot massage from the guys bringing it. So. Hey, all of the above. <laughs> the foot massage later, and if you have a diamond or a jaguar, I'll take that too. I'll see what I can find. How lovely. How lovely. Now, you two have been mixing it up a long time, obviously since birth. Who was first? He I was. was. I was actually surprised. Yeah. yeah. My mom thought it was only one baby, no ultrasound back in the day, back in my day. Uh, and so she gave birth to Jonathan, the doctor was leaving, and then the nurse said, I think there's another one, and I was brought into this world with a swear word. <coughs> I'm sure, like, hey, wait for me. <laughs> Lucky they didn't name you, hey, wait for me. <laughs> yeah. Hello, yeah. I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> well, Every, everyone else is a J. I'm the only mm -hmm. non-J in the and family. And did they dress you alike, the parents? Uh, we did. I, I actually got all the blue. Everything was blue with me, and everything was red or mm -hmm. yellow with Drew. So that's how they told us apart. Or pink. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, or pink, or whatever. Okay. Yeah. So when you're little guys, are you building things? Were we actually, you hammering away with your little kit? We actually were. We were always creating something. We were also into acting as, as little kids, so we were always putting on little plays. We were building sets, and there was always something. I think we started... Uh, we started when we were probably two years old, uh, mm. getting into trouble. We used to take apart everything as well. If the vacuum broke, I'd take it all apart and then put Great. it back together and fix it. And so, saved my parents a lot of money. Child labor. I'm <laughs> yeah. sure child labor, but I'm wondering if all the parts were back in the vacuum when you were done. There was always a <laughs> screw or two left yeah, over. Why is it there's a screw always? I don't know. Over. That happens. I, I had a friend who was like you, and he took my girlfriend's watch apart, and he, and he didn't put the hands back in, <laughs> yeah. and she said. You know, yeah, who, who very needs modern. To know this? I don't even wear a watch. Cause, the hand, yeah. where are the hands? He said it ticks, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. all that matters. You go, okay, that is all that matters. So how did you get into the TV biz? Well, when we were kids, my dad actually used to be in the industry uh, before we were born, and he tried to talk us out of it. He said it's a hard industry to be a part of, long hours. It's not great for you know a family and. It just made us want to do it all the more. Of so course, yeah, we, it's too we, much fun. Exactly. So we started as kids. We actually did theater, and then we moved into some commercials, and then we got some, a couple of small roles on some TV shows and film, and then we didn't want to be starving actor directors, and we decided to get into real estate, make mm. some money. So after high school, we moved to Calgary to take advantage of the big boom out there, and ten years later, we realized we were doing more real estate than we were TV and film. And we got back into it, and then this show kind of blends both our worlds. Sure, so. but you could have been Martin Scorsese. Yeah, you, you never know. know. One day, still. Right. Well, still now young. with YouTube, with YouTube, we can YouTube you. Yes. You exactly. could do the Bieber mania. Yeah, that's we're, what we're going. The twin mania, I think so. We've got to get the Scott Bieber hair. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It no. looked a little creepy when he did the the Bieber haircut. Yeah, I changed. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> but it's still fun. I mean, I still direct. Um, we we're both still actors, and, and I mean, hosting this show. That's why I love it. It's just nice to have fresh stuff to do. Mm -hmm. The monotony of just acting would get too much. So that's why hosting is letting us be ourselves, entertaining a crowd, and educating the viewers sure. on real and estate. And you know more about ac the actual real estate transaction. You know more about the building. Yeah. Exactly. If you want to see him pick up a hammer, that's a comedy show. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. No. But we have so, a lot no. of fun. That's why our show is totally different than anything else you know we don't take ourselves so serious and uh, and really we're making dreams come true sure. that's the whole show. and you get uh, a little dirty and messy and all of yeah. that stuff the and you're women like, like it you're mr <laughs> clean i am you know what i Next find to the, the tool house. guy i use my brains he uses his brawn mm -hmm. that's that's the combo that's but, perfect uh, so how do you find the people to go on the show they actually, Where does it begin? It starts through the production office, Cineflix. Uh, they submit to Cineflix. Uh, there's hundreds of people that had submitted for season one, and I'm sure there's going to be thousands sure. for season two. But uh, from that point, uh, they, they accept a few of the people, and then it goes to the network, and then the network has to approve them, and then that's how we get to the mm. 13 families that we chose. And we've actually been saying we'd love to see the show come across Canada, come to Vancouver. Right now they're shooting everything around the Toronto area. But um, yeah, we were born here in Vancouver. We love the city, so it would be great to, to bring some of that here. Yeah. Again. Again. Yes, and of course, uh, Toronto has uh, all those great brownstones and yeah, it, it know, is nice. houses to fix up because you've got the history, yeah. the beauty of the old. 
Exactly. And uh, some of them haven't been kept up all that much. No. And that's what makes for some amazing transformations. Some of the houses that we actually deal with are over 100 years old. So it's it's really a huge mm. transformation. And some have been really like, we, we've shown some homes. We laugh that he even shows us the properties. But some of them are so in such bad condition. One of them had 10 cats running around and still had a horrible mouse problem and stuff mm. like that. Actually, so. the uh, worst house, in my opinion, was this one that had wallpaper everywhere. It's like they uh, renovated with wallpaper in the 50s. And the bathroom had wallpaper over the cabinets around the tub surround where you should have tile. It was all no. wallpaper. Not, wallpaper's not waterproof. Yeah, so, so a big down below problem. it was all water oh. damage in the kitchen. But I mean, these are things we look into and then we can mm. renovate and get rid of any mold issues and whatnot. And it, sure. in the end, it looks amazing. Because you know when somebody's buying a house and they walk in and they smell musty yeah. or they see a rat trap yeah. or a little water damage exactly. or it smells like smoke. Red it's flag, a tougher yeah. sell. If they've got yes. about 400 Glade plugins, that's a red flag. Then oh, that's <laughs> a red flag. Something. Glade plugins. Ooh. Yeah, but it doesn't yes. always mean it's a write-off. That's what we try and explain to people. Just because you mm. smell those things or see, it's not always a write-off. No, I I heard you boys say uh, things like, "This has good bones." Mm -hmm. This house has good bones. That's because we found some old bones in the closet. Uh, so I said, you know, get rid of those and we'll get... Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> Let's do that. There's been a death in this house. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, you never that tell that, do you, Mr. Realtor? No, you actually... You, that, you that's something to. that is a gray area, but you're supposed to disclose things like that because if, some, if there was a violent death in the home, some people wouldn't want that stigma in their home, and you're supposed to disclose. It's like sure. a grow-up. If there was a marijuana mm -hmm. grow-up, you have to disclose that legally. Um, you can't I'm hide sure. that. Because I think it's just a great way to supplement Google. your income. You know. Well, could be. <laughs> yeah, that's could why be. I'm the Takes a little power. That's why he's the. <laughs> you're the realtor, and you yeah. deal with the people, and he just does the pounding yeah. and the I, I ripping make it look out. Pretty. You hit that nail. Done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but real estate, as you know, is as sexy as rock and roll in this city, and yeah. people are really into it. So oh, you yeah. need to come to Vancouver now. Apartment buildings. Do you have any apartment buildings on the show? Have you done Not that yet? Not on the show. We just do detached homes or attached townhouse style homes. Okay. Maybe in the future. Condos are a, a huge part of our company, mm -hmm. Scott Real Estate. We deal with a lot of condo sales, purchase, and renovation. And I what used to build condo buildings as well. Okay, so you know, you know about leaky. Yeah, yeah. And not I'm leaky. That. Yeah, mm -hmm. I bet you do the good test. Yeah, and I, and actually, I did a lot more education on moisture tech and moisture control to make sure that uh, in any of the new projects we were doing, we wouldn't have those problems. So mm -hmm. it concentrated on the leaky issues and concentrated on eco-friendly sure. fixes. Sure. So how do you convince a couple who is on a beer budget? that they can make a house a champagne house. Well, the great thing for me as the realtor, I have him coming with me to all the properties with the clients. So having a contractor in my back pocket right there to tell them we can blow this wall open, this will cost this much, it's amazing. But we still have a hard time convincing when we go through some of these really rundown homes. So we have on our show a state-of-the-art uh, software by Niso Renders is the name of the company, and it's a 3D imaging showing the actual transformation of the homes. It's absolutely unbelievable. We you won't see it anywhere. We narrow everything else. down, all the houses we looked at to the two contenders, and then once I do the design on it, we have Nisa Renters put that 3D thing together, and it's, it's unbelievable. It is see, truly it unbelievable. See We're seeing here now because, yeah. you know, I've gone over plans. Yeah. And you think, I don't get this. Like, where's the bathroom? Yeah, exactly. You know, where's the door? And uh, can I walk in this space? Uh, yeah. Can I see out the window? That's Who knows when you're looking too, at You even see blueprints. textures. People think it's even a video. That's how good the technology is. And so it's not. It, this isn't something you would see in any other residential application. Right. Some of the couples actually thought that that 3D imaging, that was, we have renovated. Since they saw the house two days earlier, they thought that was us renovating the home. It looks so realistic. Mm -hmm. And I say to them, John's good, but to do an entire house renovation in two days is not that good. <laughs> no, no, and uh, that costs more money if you, uh, yeah. if you speed John up. And magic. He is an illusionist as well, so you know he could pull the, the magic that. element. Yeah, the little uh, rabbit out of the hat guy. <laughs> yes. Did you do the towel trick, the cigarette and the towel? Uh, no. Can you do that one? No, I, you know what? I probably could. It would take some practice. Everything yes, with would. magic takes practice. And you can't put holes in your mother's tea towels. No, no. <laughs> no. Not when you're practicing.